So what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? You know? I don't know what I want to do. What do you want to do? Kristen! Daniel! This is God! I'm not I... worthy! I'm not worthy! Okay, enough with that! Down! Down, boy! Down! I want you to find out how a sundial works. Okay. Use the time machine. And stuff. Wah! Ah, 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 Hit the unlock button. The other one. It's unlocked. The other unlock button. Oh. Actually, what are we doing? I don't know. So what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I really don't know. What? Daniel! Tristan! Sundial? Come on, come on, guys. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Seatbelt. <laughs> you might want to actually grab it there, buddy. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was better. Mr. C. Hey, uh, we were just wondering, do you know what a sundial is? Well, I just certainly do. Hey, do you have any idea how it works? Well, I do. It would be easier to explain it in terms of a little bit of sun, but basically, back in ancient days, they needed some way, the astrology people, to tell time. So they devised this disc, and they put something in the middle of it that was really blue, except on a bright day when it's red. In a sunset, though, it can be green or purple, and at night, the stars make it purple and polka dot. And then, depending on where the sun was during the various equinoxes of the year, would determine the general time of the year. But the specific time of the day would be the shadow would go around the perimeter, and as the sun moved around the day, the shadow would move around, and it would tell the time. That sounds uh, pretty good. Uh, we'll have to <laughs> keep that in mind. Uh, Thanks, uh, nice meeting. How does the sun down? Scared. I'm so scared. Wait, dude, where's my car? It's not that tree. You parked it at the other one. Okay, let's go. Regularly scheduled. Interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you these special interviews. How it works? Or what? How a sundial works. And how, how a sundial works? Yeah. I and have no idea. We'll be in our video project. Um, do you know what a sundial is? Sundial? Yeah. Could you explain how it works, please? Can I explain how it works? Yeah. It's got uh, an arm in the middle of it. It has a shadow on the other side when the sun comes up. That's as much as I know about it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for stopping. 415! Wow.
Is it? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what a sundial does. And so I'm going to ask a friend of mine a question. So, Mr. Frog, how does a sundial work? A sundial? Ready? Oh, the sun, 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 Take him inside, take him inside so I can work. Is it, is it, is it? <laughs> edit all that stuff out, right? Sure. Oh, close no, I don't think so. The sundial, the sundial is very complicated, see? The way it works is the sun, back to the Indian days, see? The sun is in a part with our spherical alignment. So, so, right, so here we go. We've got the earth, you got the sun. As I spin, if this piece of bark here is your sundial, like so, right? As this moves around, the shadow created by the sundial's angle, triangular vertex. <laughs> it puts a shade, a shadow, onto a time of the clock. Now the thing is, you have to make sure your sundial is in the proper alignment. And I believe something has to be facing north. You use the whole compass of magnetism, the poles working, and you get your balls everywhere. And Tristan, that is how a sundial works. It's all about north, south, in shadows. Thank you very much. Ah! Help! Help! Action! Hey, it's Tristan and Dan. What are you guys doing? Action. Just hanging around. Oh, cool. You guys get help me out. Well, anyway, <laughs> as we were saying, we went on this well, wild adventure. We went back in time and we were, okay. you know, yeah. watching cavemen like you. So you must have met my great, 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 great grandfather, John Google. You know, that sounds great for me. I did. Anyway. We went back, and we tried to find out what the sundial was, and what it was used for, and all that. We couldn't find out one thing. Like, okay. You're kidding, right? Yes. The sun appears to move uniformly across the sky. And if its rod is placed parallel to the Earth's axis in the shadow, it will naturally move uniformly around itself. If it were not for the... Uh, the so, sundial is not worked during the night, it only works during the day. The reason for this is because there's no sun during the night. The reason for that is because the earth rotates. If you can rotate, well, you have no seasons. You get my point. So, what did the Egyptians use to tell time? A sundial. What did they use at night? A flashlight. Questions? Where are your quiz questions? What does a gnomon? How does the sun affect a sundial? How does a sundial work? <laughs> what? what do I say? Okay, here. I want to stop it. Houston. How accurate is a sundial? Okay. Not what is a dial plate? Boxers are brief. Uh, so, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't. What do you want to do? Dude, what do you want to do? Tristan! Daniel! This is God again. How you doing? I just wanted you to find out how a digital watch works. Mwahahahaha! <laughs> Buddy's up again time! Well, I'm sick of sitting in this car, so uh, let's just run. Alright, we just have to use this. Alright.